Today, I have the brand new release from Spinnaker. This is a limited edition model that has a loomed carbon dial. This is a model from the Brad and the Family, which is a compressor style dive watch that features the bezel under the crystal. But as always, there is so much to unpack and inspect with this watch. So let's crack on, dive in and check out the new Spinnaker Bradner Bascom. Okay, let's first take a quick look at the inspiration behind this watch. This new Spinnaker model is named after Willard Bascom, who was an engineer, adventurer, adventurer and diving enthusiast. He's known for his contributions to wetsuit developments back in the 1950s. Willard Bascom was also an author, writing various books about waves, geology and oceanography. And from 1973 until 1985, he was the director of the Southern California Coastal Water Research Project. And in 1980, Bascom was awarded the Explorers Club Medal, which is their highest honour. So this is a guy with genuine ocean importance, dedicating his career and life to improving the sea. So I think it's rather fitting that Spinnaker have dedicated this new model to such a reputable professional. And just in case you don't know who Spinnaker are, allow me to quickly introduce you to this brand with a few of their most popular models. Spinnaker is a brand that I've owned in the past in my personal collection. The name Spinnaker is actually taken from sailing. This is the name for a sail that's used on a racing yacht. Spinnaker primarily focuses on creating dive watches, although they do offer some other sports watches too. All watches feature at least 100 meters of water resistance and very obvious Spinnaker DNA. Even the Spinnaker logo reminds me of supercars, with their italic font looking like a supercar logo. Spinnaker focuses on delivering value-packed sports watches with a combination of vintage design cues with contemporary blueprints. The model I owned for a few months was the Cahill, a well-proportioned dive watch with a stunning level of detail and great specifications. I thoroughly enjoyed that watch when I had it, so let's take a look at this new model and see if it lives up to my expectations. So this watch isn't your typical dive watch. It actually offers a completely different experience to other divers. The Spinnaker Bradner Bascom is what's known as a super compressor dive watch. This is a style of watch that was first introduced back in the 1960s. The idea is that the water pressure actually tightens the seal of the case as the pressure increases. Now, I don't think that this watch can be classed as a proper super compressor as the water resistance isn't up to the usual standard when it comes to this type of watch, but it certainly has the look and feel of a super compressor, so you get the experience of having one but without the extra depth capabilities. The reason why collectors like this style of watch is because of its uniqueness. The bezel under the crystal offers a completely different look to any other watch. This gives the watch a lot of wrist presence because of the amount of dial on show. The Bradner line isn't new to Spinnaker, they've been making this model range for a few years now. This one though is a limited edition version, which is special for that loose forged carbon dial, which we'll cover in detail very soon. So that's the story and style of this watch covered, but do the specifications meet our expectations? The Spinnaker Bradner Bascom comes in a full stainless steel construction. This model is the black PVD version, but there's also a normal steel and gold plated version too. The construction includes solid negative end links, a milled clasp and a solid link tapering bracelet. Covering the dial we have a boxed flat sapphire crystal with blue anti-reflective coating. The curving on the edge of the crystal allows for some distortion of the inner bezel, which when combined with the 3D construction of the bezel, allows for some very pleasant viewing angles. The hands and indices are all filled with superluminova, which glow rather impressively. The bezel is bi-directional and is operated by the crown at the 2 o'clock. The crown at the 4 o'clock is the time and date setting crown, and it does screw down. And both of these crowns are engraved, one with the spinnacle logo and the other with a weird arrow. Flipping the watch over, we have a screw down display case back with a spec sheet printed on the outer and a custom spinnaker rotor and the movement inside the Bradner Bascom is, you guessed it, the Seiko NH35. I know a lot of collectors are getting a bit bored of seeing this movement now, I probably am too, but at least it's reliable. Now the water resistance of this piece is only 180 meters, which is rather disappointing when this is supposed to be a compressor diver, but let's be honest, most of our dive watches don't see more than a swimming pool on holiday. Not that I'm saying that this excuses it, just that the watch is still capable for what we'd actually use it for. So this is only a compressor style watch and not a true compressor. I think it's fair to say that no one's actually buying this watch to go deep sea diving, more so because of how it actually looks. So let's take a deep dive into the dial because that's actually what's special here. So the unique feature of this spinnaker is the forged carbon dial. This gives a very distinctive finish that can't really be achieved without using this material. You see cracks, layers and a 
a deep marble effect that makes the dial look much deeper than it actually is, almost like an illusion. But the most interesting part is that Loom has been injected amongst the carbon, so when the lights go off, the glow is almost alien-like, making the dial almost feel alive with Loom pumping around the mechanics. The handset is also squared in construction, with a paddle hour hand, and the red lollipop second hand gives a pop of colour, but the detail doesn't stop there. We see applied squared hour markers, an applied spinnaker logo and a raised bezel, giving the dial plenty of depth, which when combined with the anti-reflective coating and domed edges of the crystal, allow for one of the most interesting dials that I have ever seen. The text is kept rather minimal, with just the two lines of text below the pinion and the limited edition stamp at the bottom, but the colour of the printing allows it to blend in a little and not look too cluttered. I do question the legibility of this piece, especially for a diver, but we'll cover this in the cons a little later in the video. Now with this style of watch you get a very unique wearing experience, one that's unlike any other watch you're likely to wear. Compressor style dive watches typically wear larger than the dimensions suggest, that's because of the bigger surface area of the face, making the watch look large when on the wrist. This watch comes in with a 42mm case diameter, a 49mm lug to lug and a 15mm thickness. The thickness is high on this piece due to the inner bezel, which takes up extra space, so this is by all means a larger watch, with wearing dimensions that some smaller wristed enthusiasts will be too scared to touch, but I will say it does actually wear rather well, and I think that the black case helps it look a bit more slender. This watch features a 20mm lug width, with the bracelet tapering down to 16mm at the clasp. For a wrist the same size as mine or above, you'll have no problem pulling this one off, especially if you enjoy a larger watch. Compressor style watches are usually larger in size anyway, so I wouldn't say that this is an anomaly or necessarily a negative about this watch. Okay, finally, let's discuss the pros and the cons of this watch, and what you can expect to pay if you want to buy one. So Spinnaker sent me this watch for free and I do not have to send it back, but they had no influence in the content or opinions of this review. So with that being said, here are some things that I consider cons with the Bradner Bascom. First of all, the compressor aspect to this watch is a bit pointless. It doesn't have the water resistance or legibility of the bezel to actually be useful. Then the bezel itself turns so easily with the crown, so if you actually went deep sea diving with this, you'd likely lose track of time so easily, which makes the diving extension on the clasp completely pointless too. It would in fact be better with extra micro adjustments, but I feel this is just criticism of the Bradner model and not this specific Bascom limited edition, because let's be honest, this watch is all about the looks. So moving on to the pros, the carbon dial is stunning, the detail is great and the loom is so much fun. The PVD case has also been executed well, and the little touches of details with the matching colours really works. Now price. If you use my affiliate code TTT20, you will get 20% off your order, which takes this watch down to £329. I can't think of any other watch that is offering this package for this price, for a black PVD loomed carbon dial compressor. So if you want a stealthy watch with a unique dial and fairly good water capabilities, then this spinnaker is one to maybe check out, so I'll leave a link to their official website down in the description, where you can check out the regular steel version too. If you liked this video and want some more top tier ticker, be sure to watch my video here on screen now.